awkward poners, welcome back to the Minish Cap Temple of Ice Part 2 with me, the RTV. As you know, we just toppled many enemies, a lot of two of which we've seen in previous simple, just to get a lantern. Yes, that's right. This whole level, the primary weapon of use is a lantern in all its power. And all its rare commodity. An object that we could not retrieve anywhere else in the Hyrule. Even though we could retrieve bombs and remote bombs. No lanterns at all. Except for right here in the Temple of Ice. But hey, that's beside the point. It's not like this, this temple has to be broken up into two parts or anything. You know, it's long and everything. You know, just for a stupid little lantern. I'm not mad. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Alright, well, we've seen this before, and clearly you don't want to just swim into it like I did. You want to dive into it. Apparently you can't light them on fire. But we're going to head on back. There are some things we need to... Train. And you do have to come back for the lily really pad, I'm sorry, you gotta... It's not gonna be where you left it. I'm gonna have to go through this whole number once again. While we have the time, you notice in uh, Minus Cap that there are a lot of similarities that they try to pull from Ocarina of Time with a... Uh, a lot of the, the cultures, like the Gorons, the Zoras have made appearance, but there's also the... Well, there's, a, there's also a note to the... to the Wind Tribe that you'll, that you'll see later on, which could point towards, you know, Skyward Sword. But, uh, you can see here that, uh, if you were a fanatic and you, you know, follow the whole timeline possibility thing that, that if, you know, Nintendo was truly had a timeline or were creating one, that this game was, was meant to be part of that timeline, meant to be the beginning of it. There and there again. Too much momentum. Hey, yeah, we did it. Alrighty. Okay, we just get to the treasure chest. Oh, 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 oh wait, wait. And there we go. Mysterious shells. Which aren't that mysterious anymore. Like I said before, it's not that great, especially if you're not doing the whole Kinstone side quest. You really don't need it. And, well, we can just swim on back. We really don't need to use the leaf pad anymore.
back to that uh, one we were at before that was too dark to see anything. Ah, okay. That's how you take a turn fast. <laughs> One hundred rupees. Ta dao. So I lied. We're not going back to that other room. Not just yet, at least. And you don't need to light all those uh, candles, although they, they do help you see. Really, you just gotta defeat the enemies. Bit of a maze. A few, a few lamps we're gonna have to light. If you haven't noticed, a good strategy is to kill these enemies from behind the wall. Or over it. Can't really tell with these uh, graphics, but. It works. And we're gonna blow this wall up. Let's explore a little bit. Yeah, the point is pretty much you just gotta kill all these, whatever they are. I know you're impressed with my clear and vast knowledge of the game. Clearly the wrong way. But we move forward. goodies in this one area of the map. See, now we're back to that room that we were at before that was too dark to see. For, you got personally would take care of the enemies first because they'll, they'll knock you off and you have to start back at the beginning. It's a hassle. As you can see, there's only one way to go with that first part to get to that door. Alright, it's a little bit more of a puzzle. Two-man push. We're gonna move the top block first. We're gonna move it as far as we can. And we're gonna move this block in front of us down. As you know, I like to keep the real link up against the wall. Now we're gonna, the time we have left, we're gonna push that only one down. Not all the way down, just one down. 
So we we have room to move this other block back so we can move it forward. Come down. This is tricky right here. It's part of the map. That block of ice down there we can't do anything with, we're just gonna move it out of the way. We're gonna push this other block of ice down and left. As you might have guessed, we're gonna need to hit those other two switches at the same time. Since that ice block is already holding the other one down. You know what that means, is you gotta make a copy. And it has to be wide enough so you can't hit that one near the side you. You're gonna have to go to the other one. One or three or two or four, however you want to remember it. But you want to be careful, you don't want to make your copy disappear. So this way, there's no way to make sure that just the physical user makes it all. You are going to have to snake the route a bit. And this one's just, I don't even know why it's there. Just push it and the door's open. Basic Legend of Zelda puzzle solving technique. Melt that block of ice. Make another copy, and the course there's going to be a block down there we're going to move. We're going to do it vertically. And I'll put real ink on the bottom. There seems to be another path, like a little drag path. I'm not sure what's going on there. There might be another puzzle, there might not be. Maybe a block, I'm not sure. But at this point, it's not that important. So, as far as I know, there's nothing here. Here, just light all the candles. Just do it pretty quickly. Which from row to row. Or, you know, however. <laughs> Kill these little flies first. Oh, it's an arrow! Alright, I know what that is. A little turn point. So we can come back here once you go back to the beginning. Or if you do have to go back to the beginning. And yes. So our dear caterpillar friends once again. Then we have all these hearts. Ooh. A lot easier when you're running around at night. Oh yeah, watch out for dropping slugs if you haven't already noticed. No, no, that's freaking ridiculous. It's the ultimate button bud mashing technology. It's called my thumb. <laughs> Alright, we gotta pull the lever once more to get that element in a bit naturally it's not gonna be that easy. As you're about to see. Oh yeah! 
Oh. Oh, no! Yo, Fatty just ate our element. So you know what that means. We gotta go in there and fit it. Okay, this boss is a little trickier. Catch him before he moves, just try to make him go in a full circle and then try to run up and catch him when he goes opposite. You really don't need a sword here or any other weapon for that matter, just a shield and a lantern. Try to run over as fast as possible. Boom! And once you. That's his uh, desperation move. He'll try to ram into you. Part of his desperation move at the end is uh, locking up the place so you can't see him. And it's gonna be tricky because he's gonna try to ram you. You also have to watch out because he's gonna shoot out a ball and you wanna hit, hit it back at him while he can. And it's good, you know, just to keep the shield out pretty much. Logging up the place again. You can see the shield comes in really handy in this level. And ta da! Completely beat this fool without a sword. How weak is that shit? Alright! Third Elemente. One more heart, making our count up to 14, word up, now we can just leave, leave this horrid place. Do 
stuff. That was ambiguous. Well, that's it for the Ice Temple. Thank you for watching my video. And keep watching for another side quest adventures. And then we're going to do our journey to the Temple of Winds. Alright, and remember to follow us on awkwardponers.com and Twitter and like us on Facebook and roosterteeth.com if you're into red versus blue shout out and make sure to send us your suggestions for video walkthroughs that you'd like us to see we really take those in high regard because we want to do what you want us to make and you can send that to our Twitter Facebook Rooster Teeth or to awkwardponers.com slash contact us. All right, see you later.